If you have a Vivint Element thermostat and a heat pump in your home, and you suspect that your auxiliary heat is not being engaged properly, there are a few things that you can do to troubleshoot the problem. The first thing you should do is run a test on your element. Press and hold the side button down for 7 seconds until the settings menu displays. Use the up and down arrows to highlight user and tap the button on the right to select. Highlight testing and tap the button on the right. Then highlight heat and tap the button on the right. Press the button on the right again to select start. The element will run a test to make sure that your HVAC heating system is working with your element commands. The screen will display the time that the test has been running, the active wires, and the temperature change. Press the button on the right to select done when you are ready to end the test. If the heating test fails to increase the temperature, you will know that there is a possible communication error between your element and your auxiliary heat. First, go to your breaker box and turn off the power to your thermostat. You will need to remove the element to check the wire configuration. The element is attached to the back plate with a magnet. To remove the element, grasp it from the back and gently pull towards you. For a heat pump system with an auxiliary heat unit, you should have these wires attached. If you have a wire in the W slot, you will need to move that wire to the W2 slot. If you already have a wire in the W2 slot, move that wire to the A slot first. You can remove the wires by pushing down the tabs with your finger or a pen and then gently pulling on the wire. Connect the wires by pushing them into the desired slot. Once you have placed the wires in the proper position for your heat pump with auxiliary system, run the heat test again to confirm the element is now communicating with the auxiliary heat. If your wires are configured correctly and your auxiliary unit is still not heating your home, there may be an issue with the auxiliary unit itself. You will need to contact a local HVAC service for assistance with your system. For more information, please visit support.vivent.com.